Hello guys, Shiverify here. So today we're gonna start a new series. We're gonna work on the game in C Sharp. So here we have this platformer game I was working on. And we're gonna code this from scratch using Visual Studio Code and Godot.net version. And this character is an asset from Henny's Assets and you could find it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Most of the other stuff is stuff I made. Uh, so let's get to it. Alright, so first, let's first download the engine. So come to the latest downloads here and grab the .NET version. Then after that, you're going to grab the .NET version 6 from Microsoft's website that Godot supports. So grab version 6, not 7. Then we're going to grab Visual Studio Code. So I'm on Linux, so it should be Windows when you're on the website. And it's right here. Alright, so let's open up the project or open up Godot. Okay, so here I have all got to open. So this is the project manager screen and this would be empty for you. So in order to create a project, you could come over here, new project, new project. You can first give the project a name and that will be the folder as well. Let's say platformer series C sharp. Then you can let's put it on the desktop. So select current folder and then create folder. And then we select forward plus if you want to support for PC and we have mobile and then really old devices or older mobile devices. Let's go with forward plus. Now that we're in here, let's open up VS Code. Now there's a few things you need to do here first. So let's go into extensions, look for C sharp and just install the dev kit, C sharp dev kit. This also installs this guy, so once you install this, this should install as well. And that should be it. Now we could close this guy down for a minute. And then back in Godot, we have, let's talk about the interface. Here we have the scene view over to the left side. And bottom left, we have the file system view where we see everything. If you right click on it, you could open it up and you see that we're at the folder. Then over to the right, we have the inspector. And we also have node options like signals and stuff like that. We could talk about those when time is right and then history. And we have import settings here. We could change settings for something we're importing, like say an image, for example, re import. So let's set up VS Code. We go to the editor and then edit the settings. Then go all the way down to the bottom where you see .NET, select the editor option and then choose VS Code here or whichever um, other one you want to use and then set the path for it. And I have it here in my snap bin, it's on Linux. On Windows, you know, wherever it is, C. Then close that down. Now, so let's start with some simple, let's create a simple scene. So this will be, a, let's call it main for now. So this is a node 3D, just contains positional data. Let's add a script to it by hitting this little thing here or you could right click and then attach script. Let's just do this and we want to create a C sharp strip. So language, click the drop down, pick C sharp and it inherits from the node 3D. That's that node right there and no templates like depending on the node you'll have example templates like for characters and stuff. So let's create and when this does this it, it will open up VS Code. Go. Right. And that's it for this. So in the next tutorial we're gonna start working on code. And we're gonna create a character. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I wanted to keep this video short, so next video we're gonna start doing some coding. We'll go on guys. Like and subscribe to stay updated.